Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast edition. Yes, it is your fellow compadre speaking. Today, we're going to be going over a request. Before we go any further, just to let everyone know, I'm not paid to say any of these uh, stocks, to promote these stocks. I'm not promoting any stocks. Uh, we're just going over a request. Technical data only. Please do not enter these markets without a strategy. Use risk management. And this is not a video it's insinuating that you should be buying the stock. That seemed long and drawn out. Thanks for joining us, our new subscribers. Welcome in. Uh, we're going to go over this stock for you guys. It's TRCH, uh, Torch Like Energy Resources, Inc. Okay. Uh, yeah, so again, this is a request. We're going to go over this very quickly. So uh, hit the subscribe button. The YouTube algorithm is picking up on the channel. Thanks for that. So let's not waste time. Let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's February the 9th, 2021, and the previous close of this stock is going to be a dollar and 60 cents. It's up approximately 4.5% for the day. Okay, a little over the top there, but um, we'll get through this. All right, so it looks like uh, our infamous lines, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here. That's it, really simple, actually, okay. So uh, I have to explain this for the new guys. Uh, the yellow line is going to act like like a nuisance line, and the price has to get above that line to stay above it. Uh, the red line is going to represent the line that it needs to get stay above in order to prevent any more downward pressure. Okay, and that's at about a dollar and fifty two cents. Now the green line is going to be the longevity line. If, as long as it can get above and stay above that line, we should definitely see some really nice thrusts and ease to the upside. I do have a price target. I also have a time frame. So let's go ahead and get into that very briefly. Now before we get into that i guess kind of overall just looking at everything this stock has never really been like in an uptrend it's just like kind of started out at about for pennies on the dollar in about december 2010 it just kind of went up all the way to like three or four dollars kind of went down up down right so it, it did it did two consecutive highs but ever since then it was just kind of yeah it's just it's kind of been stuck below a dollar fifty for the majority of the time i that's actually a good sign and the reason that i say that is because if we actually look at stuff here like right if you kind of just look at it like this actually i can erase this uh, yellow line here so if you look at it from like a consolidation phase you'll notice over here on the november 2014 candles when it broke down below that red line i'm going to consider everything here and everything over here i'm saying here november 2014 and then over here january 2021 all this price action here i'm going to consider this as consolidation this is actually really good because let's go ahead and measure it out here to see how long it's been consolidating pure speculation guys okay uh, 2,247 days. That's really good because remember, well, the more time that the price consolidates, the more aggressive the breakout is when it actually happens. Okay, remember the breakout consists of to the upside or the downside. I'm going to say that, that it would likely break out to the upside. I mean, as long as it stays above a dollar and 52 cents, there's only two other ways for it to go sideways, right? Within this range here or to the upside. If we didn't go over the green line, this green line longevity line is going to be at about $2.42. I truly think that this stock is setting up to make uh, some very interesting price activity. I don't think it will be to the down downside or sideways. Uh, let me go ahead and give you my price, conservative price target. Take it easy on me there. I'm not saying this is as high as it's going to go and it's going to collapse after it reaches this level. I can see a conservative price target of about $4 as long as it can get above this $2.42 level it's likely going to either test or obliterate the uh, $3.99, just under $4, okay? So let's do a really quick measurement on how much it would increase uh, from the current level up to uh, that red line there. So it's about 150% move to the upside. That's a very handsome reward, I think it is. And again, I'm speaking to my conservative players. My long-term players just completely ignore me. Okay, you guys are just buying the dips, and of course, you're holding long-term. Now, in closing here, I actually do have an extreme price target, and I want to show you a very interesting way that for my technical guys, if you guys paid close attention to me here, here's another interesting way. I'm going to erase all the lines, a naked chart here. Here's one of the ways that I actually find extreme overhead targets, because I think the gentleman uh, said that this is like an easy 7x or something like that. So here's what I'll do just to find, to, to see maybe, maybe he's right, right? Here's what I do to find the overhead targets. So you just basically take the most recent highs here. You see this? And... April 2011, where it topped out, and well, not top out, where it had a recent high. I can't say it's a top out because it could be setting up to obliterate the all-time highs, right? So I can't say that. And if you also notice here at about February 2014, where it 
where it had a recent high at about five dollars and 12 cents right here so of course you put your trend line to just kind of uh, gracefully touch those two points and of course you have everything overhead here and that's how i find my overhead targets let's go ahead and stop rambling go get to the targets here uh, so let's just say it, it's kind of going to it's going to vary because let's just say it actually takes place uh, within the next two or three weeks. I'm not sure if that's going to be that extreme. Eight dollars and twenty nine cents. And that's pretty much all I can uh, understand with this chart that I have in front of me. It's, a, it's an interesting stock. I'm not invested to be totally transparent with you all. And um, again, if we didn't go over it, TRCH is a ticker symbol, Torchlight Energy Resources. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there. If you enjoyed the content, leave a comment. Let me know if you are invested in this stock. Also, also, before you go, if you're new, we also cover the alternative markets, Bitcoin and altcoins. Subscribe, hit the bell. We'll see that information when it's available. I think we covered everything, guys. Thank you for your time. Uh, take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Uh, execute your strategy. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.